Well, it's May time and I really wanted to talk about one of these little guys, which is known as the Maybug or the Cockchafer. And as you can see, oh, he's a fantastic little thing. And at this time of the year, you're probably in your kitchen with your, oh, off he goes. <laughs> you're in your kitchen with the light on and you hear this up against the window and that's the Maybugs attracted to the light. Now these fantastic little guys have spent probably the last two to three years under your lawn in the back garden and they emerge at the end of April, beginning of May, off to find a mate. Now they typically live about five, six, seven weeks. In that time, the male and the female need to get together so they can lay eggs. Now you can tell the difference between the males and the females because the females, they've got these little feathery antenna and they've got six. So they have six on one side and six on the other. Whereas the males have got seven and that's about the only way that you can tell them apart. And once they've bred, they'll crawl onto your lawn and they'll put the eggs underneath the lawn and they'll stay under there for about another two to three years and then they'll hatch and then you'll get these fantastic little beetles i love them they crawl all over your hands they're one of my most favorite things and i'm so upset to have discovered that these guys used to be so much more common but because of pesticides their numbers have absolutely bombed so recently because people have actually stopped using so many pesticides, it's really amazing to see that their numbers are increasing again. So whenever you see a little May bug, remember to make sure he's nice and safe because they're quite clumsy and you might tread on them. Put them at the foot of a nice oak tree or a conifer tree because they like to eat that sort of food and keep them safe.